It's a new week and we are back to bring you the very best of entertainment news. This is VN News and we are coming to you from our studio today in Accra, Ghana. My name is Gavin F. And for the very first time, I have the pretty Benedicta right here on. I thought you would let me introduce myself. I'm introducing you. I'm giving you the ball. I know they've okay. already seen your face on mm. uh, the top 10. Yes, yes, yes. We are coming with full vim. Full vim, right? Yes. More excitement. Uh -huh. Yes. Fresh things on the table. Fresh things on the table. Because yeah. It's really looking fresh. Well, don't forget that we are coming to you from our studios here in Accra, Ghana. Log on to our website www.nationtv.com for more trading stories. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. So, coming up on today's bulletin Becca wins Artist of the Year at the Just Ended Glitch Star Award. And coming up as well, James Gardner has explained why he struggled to King's Total DK on set. Banky W says it's not a big deal dealing or being his wife's personal photographer. Still coming up, BB Ninja star Miracle confirms breakup with Nina. Cardi B's husband Offset tattoos his daughter's name, Culture. And on the international front, Axwell Chris Brown and Baby Mama Nia reportedly in fresh child custody battle. Details of all the stories and sports we have coming up on today's bulletin. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get into it. We'll go for a short commercial break. We'll bring you the story in detail after this. Although you might have some great design ideas, conveying these ideas to clients can be a cumbersome task. That's why at Let's Design Studios, we offer a range of cost-effective visualization services that lead your clients through the project's twists and turns. Our services include 2D, 3D floor plans, two-dimensional still renders, 3D animation to help your clients grasp the spatial features of the project fully interactive virtual tour to give your clients a computer-generated three-dimensional tour of your property. Here's how it works. Upload reference sketches and images related to your project. Enter the project description and request a free quote. Get access to the best visualization services with a free quote today at letsdesignstudios.com. Hey, welcome back from the break. Just like he said, we are watching VN News. Now, straight to our headlines. Becca wins Artist of the Year at the Just End the Glitch Star Awards. The Ghanaian songstress Becca um, took home the Artist of the Year at the Just End the Glitch Star Awards that was held last Saturday. I mean, she was looking super, super amazing. And she doesn't seem to be coming to the twilight of her beautiful career. It looks like there are more wins for her this coming month. This coming month. Yeah. The very best on that yes, Miss Becca Sunny. Yeah, Miss Becca Sunny. Exactly. Miss Becca Sunny. Yeah, yes, I think that good. sounds better. That sounds better. Yeah. Right? What do you have for us? Yes. Away from that one, so not too long. Uh, James Gardner was reportedly on set with uh, Tonto DK, and he struggled to kiss her in a romantic scene. I don't know. Let me ask you a question first. I'm being okay. biased. Now. If you happen to see, be with on the same set with uh, James Gardner. Do you think you will struggle to No, do? no, no, no. I wouldn't even wait for action. Before you do it? I'm just moving straight to Wow. Yes. Wow. Just... Then I, I shouldn't have asked you that question anyway. Not at now, all. away yeah. from that, uh, so James Gardner has explained why he struggled to kiss Tonto DK on set. Now, according to him, for the past couple of years now, Tonto DK has been being scratched. Oh. And he's been admiring Night from afar because okay. he's been watching it on TV. So when he went on set and the director was like, in this thing you will kiss her, it's like, just like that? I think it's, it's, it's understandable because you've admired the person, person. for a very long time uh -huh. and you get to meet the person, just like me seeing Chris Brown. And I'm oh. told to kiss Chris, Chris <laughs> Brown for the first time. You I, can't, I can't kiss him because I've been seeing him on TV and the first time seeing him, just to kiss him, would be difficult. It's like a trophy, I don't know. <laughs> So yes, maybe I yeah. guess that was a trophy for James Gardner yeah. not being able to kiss Tonto Dicky on set. And it got to a point, Tonto Dicky was like, man, can you just kiss me and let's move on? Oh my God. <laughs> he said, oh my what God. What will you do? Oh, for me, if it's Tonto DK, because I'm a professional actor, I'm used to it. I will just kiss me. Okay. And you know, it's interesting, a similar thing happens to, happened to, uh, uh, what is his name, Majid Michel, when he met uh, Jim David Nagy for the first time on set. He struggled. He struggled because he's admired her for a long time now. Okay. What he's saying that even at the end of the day, they were, they were able to play the same very well. He struggles to kiss her. People were saying maybe he was a bit intimidated by beauty. But he just made People were actually like, saying that he's shy of kissing a woman. But he's saying he's not shy because... He's not shy. Yes. Well, I'm seeing the person for the first, first time. time. I think it's really understandable. Well, that is it for James Gardner, which is not the very best. Yes. Okay, away from the kissing Wahala, let's go to Nigeria. Now, Banky W says he has no big deal, deal um, being the wife's personal photographer because um, marriage is a team and he can take the wife's picture anytime and no one should complain. I think it's 
very understandable because if you are taking picture of the wife, you shouldn't assume I'm a celebrity. So who should do that job? Well, well, it's like you do that job in bed. You should do it everywhere. So <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, so if once he's flying on, you know, being his wife's personal photographer, yes. no one should, should complain. No one should complain. Not at so all. So you say no one should complain. Yes. He's you. ready to do anything for anywhere, anywhere. 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 I mean, anywhere. With a wife, anywhere. Anywhere. Interesting. Exactly. Well, he's, he's coming from a love bag of which mother does yeah. particular All the best. Now, still in Nigeria, I remember that a couple of months ago, we were bringing a lot of updates in regards to the BB Niger, the Big Brother Niger, how it and how it ended, and Miracle won. And, you know, Nina and Miracle had this thing going, and everybody was like, oh, these two love friends are going to be together for a long time. Well, a Miracle has come out to confirm their breakup. Now, according to him, okay. neither he or Nina made mention of the fact that they, they were are in dating. love or they are dating. Right. So nobody should conclude or put them in, and I don't know, in an undue relationship. I think some, um, the public put too much pressure on these celebrities for them to be together. Together, uh, yes. There's too much pressure there's on them. Like, pressure. We should just leave them, let them be. Well, I think that's one of the main reasons it's come yes. out to clear the air. But you know, we all know. That something happened in the house. Obviously, Obviously we all know. We all but know. he said no this time, so we can't force them well, to be so together. So what we saw, they were acting like those are forced to be acting. In well, time. baby, <laughs> maybe. So he's yeah. coming out to clear the air. And Nina has also uh, responded saying that she's not moved by what the people say about. And her. she sounds very positive. It looks like no. she's telling her fans to just ignore, ignore them. them. Comment, don't show shade at him, and all of that. Interesting. Yes. These two are just up to something. Else. Yes. So, we came yes. Up very so Miracle has come out to clear the air that he and Nina. And no dating. Well, those are the major stories we have coming from Ghana and Nigeria. Log on to our website www.bbctv.com for more trending stories. We'll bring you international stories after this from my world. Stay tuned. Hi. So, all around the world, there are individuals who have in one way touched the lives of so many with your craft. Now, these individuals are either alive or dead. On the bio, in order for us to make it more spicy and more fun for you, we'll bring into you biography, or better say, a brief bio about individuals who has in one way or the other touched the lives of millions all around the world with your craft. So join me on the bio this and every Friday from 7 p.m. live on VNTV as I bring to you a brief about these individuals who have done so well in their various respective fields. This is the bio. Hey, welcome back from the break. Now we are going straight to the money move. Kaido B's husband, Offset, now has tattooed the face with culture, culture's name. Very weird. Do you think it's weird? It's weird. I mean, will your daddy tattoo his face? In Africa, Kevin yeah, our, father K. Don't, our fathers don't love us to that level to tattoo our, face, our name on his it's, face. It's, it's, it's weird. I mean, very, very weird. Now he says that, <clears throat> um, he shows on Instagram that um, don't play with me. He added that don't play with me. I don't know what he's he's up to, but then yeah. yes. And I hope they stay together forever because if you have Culture's name mm -hmm. and you later break up with Cardi B, I think. The, 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 well, if if only the tattoo is a permanent one, you know they they have the central one. Okay. Maybe he's just showing up for something. And okay. He's gonna take it off because okay. it doesn't really look good on him. It makes his face more weird. Oh my goodness. Well, I reserve my card. Okay. <laughs> Now away from that uh, culture, uh, Cardi B and uh, yeah, money name? move, the making money move. Oh, you seem to know his lyrics. Yeah, very, very. Away nice. from that one, let's talk a bit about Chris Brown and yeah. his baby mama. Jeju. First and foremost, do ladies have, like that name, baby mama? I think it's a tag. I don't think it's a it's a what? It's a tag, like a tag. Is it a fine tag for 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 a lady who's giving them? Well, when you come to matters of the love and heart, we should reserve it like yes. that. Okay. Yes. You're, you're just gonna reserve it. It doesn't look like you've been in love before, so have you? Well, I, I reserve my comment. Let me just move straight to Chris Brown. Okay. So Chris Brown and his baby mama Nia, they are. Uh, it should be reported that they are back again. There's a new fresh child custody of their daughter. Okay. Was, mind you, that girl is so pretty, and Chris Brown lost that girl so much. Now, according to reports, Chris Brown has made over four million US dollars in the past uh, couple of months, two years now. The past yeah. two years now, and the lady is now demanding twenty-one thousand dollars monthly in Ooh. child support. Interestingly, he's been giving a uh, two thousand, I think, over two thousand cities monthly, and four thousand for nanny uh, course, which happens to be nanny <laughs> course. I like that. <laughs> So interestingly, the, the nanny to the, do, to the to the daughter is the mother. Okay. So she is taking the four thousand as nanny, uh, being a nanny and okay. being a mother. 
Whoa. you know you know interestingly it's like his one is i think that's the best job ever really best job ever being a nanny and a mother yes really Be- yes she's you're me. getting both you're getting both but yes. she's still not satisfied she wants because more. at the end of the day Chris Van is sending them over over six to seven thousand dollars a month monthly trust me that's a lot of money but right now she's demanding twenty one thousand us dollars Oh, that's Ivan a lot of money. She's just about to look from him and he's not ready to give it to her. So they are currently it's being reported that they are in court right now. We don't know how this is gonna pan out for them, but okay. they you know the celebrities have a way of resolving their issues. And yes. those who are outside the celebrity state yes. can really find them. Exactly. I wish Chris Brown and his uh maybe all the very and best. And very, 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 very mm-hmm. best. Well those are the major international stories we have. You can follow us on our various social media handles. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for you to get the reviews of this particular news. Yeah. I think uh, Godwin is ready for us with sports. Yes. So, sports. Focus sports. The guy who never missed any name. I mean, I'm just wondering how he's able to pronounce all the names. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Yes. <laughs> so, Godwin with Focus Sports is up next. I would have one who go to the house for me. You, you didn't expect anybody. Is this place my house? Allow my car to enter. Check it, check it. Let me check. No, check what? You think I didn't know that you ran there when you saw me? Mike, this wasn't the agreement. <coughs> you don't come to my house empty-handed. You are dead. Oh, but we need to see, we need to see Casalado boss. Keep pen and paper, let me tell you my sickness. I did Ow! 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 Beat the hell out of me. You can do anything. Kill for you. Huh? Police! Police! Jude! What are you doing here and how did you get yourself involved with those guys? Uh, over in the Come here, come here, informant, come Over here! Nami, Nami! Who be Nami, Nami, Nami? Bola! Bola! Uh-huh. Oh! Hello and welcome to the Monday edition of Focus Sports on VN is on VN TV with me, Godwin Niamatego. It's a bright and lovely week, so we are about to enjoy it and we are about to enjoy it with the sporting beat of news. And let's start off on the local scene with Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Accra Atafu. Over the course of the weekend, the two most glamorous clubs in Ghana, they met or faced up against each other at the Barbaria Sports Stadium. At the end of 90 minutes of football fiesta, it was Kumasi Asante Kotoko that put their arch rivals to the sword, winning by two goals. You know, goals from Obed Owusu and Emmanuel Jemfi were enough to condemn a crowd of folk to a 4 0 aggregate scoreline defeat. It's quite shocking that a crowd of folk of all teams in Kumasi will be losing by that a wide margin. Now, Away from that story, and still on the African continent, and we are moving to the under 17 or the junior la- level, where most often than not, um, a lot of West African side have been bedeviled with age cheating. And then it's no surprise that Benin has been disqualified from the zonal under 17 qualifiers, which will be hosted or is being held in Niger. Benin have been disqualified from the under 17 Afghan zonal qualifiers, which starts in Niger. 10 out of the 18 players of the Benin and the 17 side filled the mandatory MRI test conducted by CAF hence their disqualification. Nigeria, Ivory Coast and Burkina Faso each also suffered disqualification of their two players. Ghana's and the 17 side, the Black Starlets, went through the exercise successfully with all the 18 players passing successfully. So we wish the under 17 that the Black Starlets the very best in their competition as they seek to qualify for the tournament proper which will be hosted in Tanzania. Away from that and we are diving straight onto the international scene and we are starting off in the French League. Uh, and then on Sunday, AS Monaco locked up against Marseille at the start Louis Day. At the end of 19 minutes of football fiesta, Monaco 2, Marseille 3. Rene won by two goals now against Bordeaux. Saint Etienne and Amiens, they played a 0 0 stalemate. Angers won by a goal tonight against Lyon. Dijon lost by two goals tonight against Cayenne. Toulouse and away side defeated Bingham. Rem also sat at home and lost by a goal tonight to Montpellier. Strasbourg, they were defeated by two goals to three against Nantes. Paris Saint Germain, Kylian Mbappe, Lutin, Angel Di Maria, Elfido, they were able to get their goals on the day. But that notwithstanding, a certain 
Kylian Mbappe looked and lost his head and got a red card on a day. It was very bad for the 19-year-old international place for the French national team. Also, Olympic Lyonnais, it's as if their season has been stuttering so far. They lost by a goal against OG Sinis. Let's look at the next standings in the French league. Um, Paris Saint-Germain, they are lying pretty on top as usual with 12 points. Dijon with 9 points. Also, Toulouse in 3rd position with 9 points. Lost low. After playing four games, they scored six goals, considered two, and they have seven points to boot over them. Angers are lying in 18th position with their first three points, Bordeaux with three points, and also Gringham with no points in particular. Now to the top scorers charts in the French Liga, Kylian Mbappe Lotin with four goals and two assists, Neymar da Silva Santos, Junior Mugi da Cruze, four goals, and Jonathan Bamba, who plays for Leo, has three goals. Now away from the French Liga, and we are diving straight to the German Bundesliga, and then Shaka 04, Shaka they sat at home in girls in catching and lost by two goals now against Ether Berlin. RB Leipzig were held to a one score scoreline by newly promoted Dusseldorf. Stuttgart also sat at home and lost by three goals to now against Bayern Munich. And then, or, 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 as usual, with unmitigated certainty, you could say that Bayern Munich are already champions of the um, German Bundesliga. It's early days yet, but per the quality they've shown, per their emphaticness in terms of their results, they are churning out. Undoubtedly, Bayern Munich are looking like champions already. They became the first side to win their first two games in four consecutive seasons in the German Bundesliga. Away from that, Augsburg also drew one with Munching Gladbach by Leverkusen. They lost by three goals, one against Wolfsburg. Eintracht Frankfurt, after Kevin Prince Whiten left them, they lost by two goals, one against Werder Bremen. Offenheim also won by three goals, one against Freiburg. Unfortunately, Ghanaian international Kasim Nu secured an injury over there. Nuremberg also played one one with Mainz 05, and an over 96 were able to hold Dortmund when it comes to the 90 minutes of football fiesta to a 0 0 scoreline. Let's look at the next time. It's in Bayern Munich 04. Bayern Munich, after playing two games, they have six points. Wolfsburg, six points. Ether Berlin, six points. Borussia Dortmund with four points. To the bottom three, Bayer Leverkusen, no points at all. Freiburg, no points. Stuttgart also don't have any points to boast over them. To the top scores chart, or better still, the trophy, Toa Gekakone. Adam Zala, who plays for Offenheim, three goals. Jen Kevin Augustin, RB Leipzig, has two goals. And then Duda, who plays for Etha Berlin, has two goals. He scored two beautiful goals against Shaka Ofo over the course of the weekend, straight to the Italian Serie A. And then, unfortunately, Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos, a very old commandant, failed to put the duck, the donkey instead off his back as he failed to grab a goal on this day. That notwithstanding, Atalanta Bergamusca, they lost by a goal to them against Cagliari. Chievo Verona were held to a 0 0 scoreline by Empoli. Ghanaian International, a free aqua was in this game. Lazio won by a goal to know against Francinoni Calcio. Luis Alberto getting his name on the score sheet. Sampdoria shockingly this year, they dispatched of Napoli by three goals. It was an emphatic result by Napoli with Fabio Pagliarella scoring an absolute beauty on it. You need to watch the uh, excerpts of that particular game. Sassolo also won against uh, Genoa by five goals to three. And then Kevin Prince Watting continued his goal scoring spree for Sassolo. Let's not forget that Torino won by a goal to the against Paul 2013. Fiorentina Calcio defeated Uni by a goal to the And Parma, like I said earlier, they lost by two goals to one against Juventus with Mario Mandzukic and Blaise Matuidi getting their names on the score sheet with Ronaldo still struggling to get a goal on this day. Bologna, they last sat at home and lost by three goals in against Inter Milan. Kojo has someone featured in the game by Raja Nangola and on his day before Inter Milan and Razuris got his goal on the day. Let's not forget Antonio Candreva and also Ivan Perisic got goals for Inter Milan. AC Milan in the biggest encounter on March the 3, they defeated AS Roma by two goals. One, Estadio Giuseppe Miaza, uh, Gonzalo Gerardo Pipita Iguain released uh, an absolute beauty of a pass for um, his striking partner to get the winning goal for AC Milan to defeat AS Roma by two goals. One, let's look at the next standings and undoubtedly Juventus have nine points, Sassuolo seven points, Fiorentina Calcio six points, Spa 2013 six points to the bottom three, Bologna a point, Frosinone Calcio one point, and in 20th position, the last position occupied by Kievo Verona with a single position with a single point rather to the top scorers chat with the Capo Cananieri in the Italian Syria Marco Benassi who plays for Fiorentina three goals Kistrov Piatek for Genoa has three goals Domenico Berardi who plays for Sassuolo has two goals and Kevin Prince Boat in the Ghanaian International has two goals to boost over there in the Italian Syria 
to the last but one league that is sensational sweet center liga santander you, you have quite a number of sensational results that were recorded over the course of the weekend real betis defeated sevilla in that derby over there by a goat no fc barcelona after chico and then they scored the first goal on the day lionel andres messi cochitino la poga atomica and then all distinct showed no messi as he led a, a, a plethora of goals from the Barcelona end to defeat Huesca. In fact, they didn't defeat them, they trashed them emphatically by eight goals to two against Huesca. Alaves also defeated Espanyol by two goals to one. A set in Mubarak Wakasu was phenomenal in defensive midfield for Alaves. Levante doing well out to a 2 2 scoreline by Valencia. Real CF they won by four goals one against Leganes. And after Ronaldo left, it's as if Karim Mustafa Benzema has been liberated from any form of shackles over there. He has been scoring goals at six and in seven for Real Madrid. It's good news that the French international has rediscovered his goal scoring boot and getting goals for fun for Real Madrid CF. Salta de Vigo they won against Atletico Madrid by two goals to nil. Aida also defeated the Real Sociedad by two goals to one. Villarreal sat at home at the Estadio Ciudad de la Ceramica and lost by a goal against Girona. Getafe were all to a 0-0 scoreline by Real Valladolid. Also, let's look at the league standings in the Spanish Liga Santander. Barcelona, after playing three games, they've scored 12 goals, considered two. They have nine points. Real Madrid CF, nine points. Celta de Vigo, seven points. Alaves, four points to boost over them. Now, let's look at the bottom three. Villarreal, shockingly, they are in here with a single point. Leganes, with a single point to boost over here. And then Rayo Vallecano, okay occupying the bottom of the league standings with no points to boast over him and then Karim Mustafa Benzema he has four goals to boost Lionel Andres Messi Cochitini Lapoga Tomeka and Nano all distinct to he has four goals and two assists in this year's campaign so far Gareth Van Bale has three goals to boost him and finally in the English Premier League, Burnley sat at home and engaged Manchester United. And a lot of people were expecting that Burnley would have defeated Manchester United. But him, Jose Mario dos Santos, Felix Marino had different ideas as Romelu Minama, Lukaku, Bolingoli grabbed two goals on a day to pair up with um, um, a certain DD Dogba when it comes to the all time top scorers in the. Um, English Premier League, Dogba has 104 goals totally in the Premiership and also same as that of a certain Romelu Lukaku. Watford came from a goal down to defeat Tottenham Hotspur by two goals one at the Vicarage Road. Cardiff sat at home and engaged Arsenal and then Arsenal were able to score them by three goals to two. Pierre Merrick, Emiliano Francois, Bameyang and Alexander Lacazette found their names on the score sheet. Manchester City also won by two goals one against Newcastle United. Bryson and Overbion came from two goals down to draw against Fulham at home. Chelsea, sorry boys, absolutely scintillating. They won by two goals to know against FC Bournemouth. Eddie Michael Hazard, a certain Pedro Eliezer Rodriguez Ledesma got their names on the score sheet. And Southampton winning consecutive games on the trots. The set in Danny Ings grabbing a goal on the day once again. Everton won, they drew rather against Huddersfield Town 1 1 at the end of 19 minutes. And then Wolverhampton won in the dynamics of the game. They defeated West Ham United, who spent a lot of money in the transfer market, which is here to translate in terms of results so far. Leicester City sell at home and lost by two goals to one against Liverpool by two goals to one. Sadio Manning scoring four goals in four games for Liverpool Football Club in the division. Liverpool Football Football club undoubtedly they've played four games and they have 12 points maximum 12 points chelsea 12 points what for 12 points it's very interesting in the english premier league manchester city with 10 points let's move to the bottom three newcastle united one point Burnley one point and west Ham united shockingly after splurging the cash in the transfer market with no points in particular manuel pellegrini will be living in hot waters if you'd ask me when you go to the top square chart in the English Premier League, Sadio Mane, the speed merchant, the speed demon, he has four goals. Alexander Mitrovic, who plays for Fulham, four goals. And Sergio Leonel Kun Aguero, Del Castillo has three goals. On this note, I need to bounce out of the studios of VNTV. My name is Gordon Ni Amatego. The act of being a good guest is knowing when to say goodbye. Okay, so that was Focal Sports by Godwin. Before we go, let's take a look at our headlines. Now, Becca wins Artist of the Year, the Just Ended Glitz Star Awards. And James Gardner explained why he struggled to keep 
Banke W says it's not a big deal being his wife's personal photographer. Interesting. And BB Niger star Miracle confirms breakup with Mina. Cardi B's husband offset tattoos their daughter's name on his face. And Brilliant. finally, Chris Brown and his baby mama reportedly back to you know, refresh child custody yes. report and all that. But right. these and many more stories we brought to you earlier on, on today's bulletin. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. It's a new week already. How was your weekend? My weekend was great. Um, we, were you at the um, brown sugar? I was there. So yes. interestingly, yeah. uh, uh, later in the day, our colleague Anna was bringing you updates on that great. particular premiere and more trendy stories from the international, great. of course. Entertainment front, so yeah. make sure you make a date with us. Be a news once again later today. My name is Kevin Afinke. My name is Benedicta Docastete.